Hello again. I'm going to talk about DHEA. DHEA is dihydroepiandrosterone and it's a natural product, product and it's made by the ovary uh, but mainly by the adrenals. Now how did we get onto this subject? Well in IVF one of the big problems we still have is the problem of the poor responder. The poor responder is usually connected with uh, the older age group of, of, of patients. So we decided that we would go into this problem because it really does need uh, solving. One of the things that obstructed any investigations were the different definitions that had been used uh, in the literature. But about 10 years ago, when uh, Eshri came out with uh, a unified definition, any two of uh, the following three, either advanced age or a previous poor response, which usually meant less than uh, three eggs recovered, uh, or an abnormal test of ovarian function. Now, when you look whether poor responders could be treated effectively, then I found 17 different methods that have been proposed. The fact that 17 methods have been proposed means that none of them were particularly successful. Now when we talk about ovarian reserve, then as far as IVF is concerned, this isn't strictly true. What we mean by uh, poor response in IVF, we're more referring to the number of follicles that are actually available for stimulation. Now these, at the beginning, come from the primordial follicles. So if we could have something that would push this progress along from primordial follicles to antral or preantral follicles, then we would have more to stimulate. And this is where DHEA comes in. It's been proposed, although it's a weak androgen, uh, that this would do uh, uh, this uh, would increase the, the, the factor of the number of uh, small follicles that would be available for stimulation. DHEA in the USA has been touted uh, that it can, it's like a wonder drug, it can make you young, uh, it can do absolutely anything and you can buy it over the counter which people frequently do there. Uh, what we wanted to do is find out does DHEA really improve the response and the way we've done this is we've set up a, a randomized control trial uh, with uh, 400 poor responders according to the uh, ESHRI definition. We're doing it in six centres uh, in the UK with the Homerton uh, as the leading centres and we're giving uh, 75 milligrams a day for 10 weeks uh, before the start of stimulation to our poor responders. It's either going to be DHEA or an absolutely identical looking uh, placebo. The end point is going to be live birth and um, I hope when I come back to you next time, or maybe in a year's time, that we're going to have an answer to this uh, vexing problem. And as everybody's giving out DHEA like Smarties, then it would be very good to know whether it actually works or not and we're going to show whether it does or not. Well, because it's an, a, a weak androgen, then it's androgens that are thought to accelerate the process from primordial follicles to small antral follicles. So any androgen theoretically should improve the number of small follicles that are available for stimulation. That's the theory behind it. Uh, Roy, uh, from one of your lectures, you have presented a paper showing testosterone patches or tablets given. Uh, wouldn't it be the same theory that uh, giving DHEA is similar to having given testosterone or giving non -ethysterone? Yes, it's exactly the same theory, exactly the same principles, uh, but unfortunately there are still differing, different, different opinions on uh, whether it actually works or not. So hopefully we'll do the uh, definitive study and uh, we'll get to know.